What I do before every shoot with my DJI Air 2S is mount an ND filter. Hi guys, I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I will show you everything I do before shooting with the drone, the settings I prefer and the filters that I mount. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe and drop a like to my videos. Let's get started! Ok, first thing first, for a cinematic shot and to have the so-called motion blur we need this, the ND filters. But what are ND filters? The abbreviation means neutral density and it is a filter that reduces the intensity of the light that enters the lens evenly without altering the colors. To achieve good footage is necessary to calibrate the drone settings in the best way according to the light condition and the type of ND filter that is mounted. The ND filters are different. Depending on the light they reduce, they have various numbers that reduces stops. For example, on days like this, it is necessary to install an ND32 filter that will reduce the light by 5 stops. If the light were less and we have to mount, for example, an ND16 filter, the light will be reduced by 4 stops and so on. If anything, if we mount an inadequate ND filter, we would risk to have either too dark image or a burned image. I personally always used the DJI ND filters that I bought with my Air 2S. Lately, I've also been trying these Polar Pro filters, which unlike DJI's, you have to manually adjust the stops. But now comes the practical part where I show you how I prepare my shot. To know which ND filter to mount you need some experience to understand the amount of light of the scene we want to shoot. Once you choose the right filter, the settings I use are always these. Ok, the white balance imposed at 55,000 Kelvin. A very important thing is to always try to keep the ISO very low, preferably at 100. The lower is the ISO and the lower the risk of having the so-called noise in the shooting. I shoot my videos at 30 fps, so the shutter speed will have to be set to twice the recording frames. In this case I will set it at 160. Now we are ready to fly and capture cinematic images with a nice motion blur effect on the sides. So guys, these are all the steps I perform before every shooting with my DJI Air 2S. After filming, obviously the video editing part awaits us, but I would like to point out that one third of the work we do it with the right drone settings before shooting. So guys, let me know in the comments below 
what do you think and if you also use the ND filters in this way. Thanks for watching and see you to the next one.